In this one, I'm going back to a furnace that I had on the first part of 2016, and it had a crack in the heat exchanger that was pretty much impossible to diagnose unless you took the ductwork off and looked at it. And here I'll show you a picture from the ductwork side of it where the crack is. And I've been asked if you could see that with a flashlight and mirror. Now I think I actually did that, but I don't think I actually ever did a video on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now the only way we're going to get into this old boy is to pull off this manifold. Because you couldn't see any flame change when the, when the fan started, uh, and you couldn't get a flashlight in there well enough to see anything. But I'm going to go ahead and take this manifold off and the burners out, and let's look inside there and see if we can actually see that crack. Now, of course, this isn't as perfect as it could be trying to put a camera in there, but you can't see any sign of that crack using a flashlight once we pulled the burners out. Uh, I will try a uh, snake camera next. Here we are with a uh, snake camera in this thing, and uh, it, you know these things are always a little bit hard to to make the judgment on. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be any uh, any sign of that crack. Let's try this again. Now on the left is the upper side. And you can uh, look at this thing. I'm going to let you just look at it and see if you think there's anything. I can't find anything there. Okay, this is the only way I could show this crack. You see that little light there? I'm actually shining a flashlight across the heat exchanger. So you can actually see the crack right there. Uh, obviously, you know, the ductwork would have to be taken off before you ever saw that. But that's the only way I could find that thing. There was no change in flame. There was, there was nothing that indicated this one. This is a really interesting crack because I don't think it would be caught by hardly anyone. Anyway, that's it on that one.